everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and welcome to my holiday home decor video for 2020. And for those of you who followed my channel, you may remember that about three years ago, I did another holiday home tour in which I showed you my decor then, and some of it is the same. However, three years ago, it was a little more of an old world, kind of a formal look. And now I have shifted my home from an old world home. My home is about 10 years old, and so it was very old world when we moved into it 10 years ago. Now we're trying to make it more transitional. And so all of the colors in the house have gone from golds to really more beigey, kind of grayish colors. And I will tell you, a lot of you ask about my wall color, and I will tell you it is a fabulous wall color if you are trying to take your house from old world to more transitional or more updated, a little more modern. And the color is Sherwin-Williams Accessible Beige, and it is the perfect beige to take you from the goldish tones of 10, 15 years ago to the more grayy beige tones now because it blends with everything. It's a wonderful color. And in terms of my Christmas decor, I will be pointing out where I can, where I purchase the items, although you know how Christmas decor is. You get a lot of it over the years. But most of my decor is very inexpensive. It is Hobby Lobby mostly, and then Kirkland's, and also the at-home store. This year I purchased some garlands from the at-home store. So anyway, thanks for dropping by, and I hope you enjoy my holiday home tour. This is my living room, and I'll just pan around it here. There's our master there, and it has a few Christmas things in it, but I'll just kind of pan around the living room and show you. There it is. There's a Santa up there, and there's the Christmas tree, and this is a big room. This is the dining area, and I guess I'll just start there, and right at the front door, and there's the front door, right at the front door, I have a little dog, which lives there all year long, but I just put a bow on him. And then this is the dining area. Most everything I have comes from Hobby Lobby, you know, very inexpensive, or Kirkland's. This was from Kirkland's last year, and every year they have absolutely beautiful centerpieces. So I would totally recommend Kirkland's for you. I should have the candles lit. I don't have the candles lit. And what I did here is I just took my normal little coasters that I use on this table. And at Hobby Lobby, they had little plastic ornaments and I cut off the little ring on there and I just used them as if they were little snowflake coasters. And then on the back of each chair, I always like to do this. I just take some ribbon and I wrapped each chair. It's wired ribbon, so it can look a little better. And then I just buy these little picks, and so I put a pick behind each chair. So that is how the table looks. And on your chandelier, I used to do major amounts of decor on my chandelier, but I basically just found one little piece, and this screws off. Usually on most chandeliers it does, and so you can just hang that there, a little crystal there. And then I have the Noel sign, and I always like to do this to my lamps, which is a little strange maybe, but I just put ribbons on them, Christmas ribbons, and little picks, and there is a close-up of that. That was Hobby Lobby, really pretty, and that is from Hobby Lobby. I got it last year, but I think they still have it this year. But that is how that looks. There is the back view of my table. So let's just head around the living room. And in the niche, I normally have this, and it has the gray in it, but I just added a ribbon and a little pick and some little boxes there. Those might have been from Michael's, come to think of it. And then I have poinsettias in a lot of different places. They don't really have them anymore, but years back, I remember they were like $5 a piece and they were everywhere. So I flanked the amour with the poinsettias. And then I have Santa up there and a lighted little garland and two little trees, which I got from Hobby Lobby and they are actually kind of velvety trees, and that Santa I got from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I just added some red pillows, and the black and white I usually have there. And I just got these this year, the two little silver Christmas trees and the cute little deer, and I bought those at the at-home store. You may have that in your area. Maybe it's online, I don't know for sure. And I just have a little candle there. And there's the look at the living room again, all Christmased up, and there's the tree. And this year we got a brand new tree because last year we had a tree that the lights went out on and we'd had it forever and it was a little too wide. And I really thought I wanted a flock tree this year. Here, I'll step back so you can see the tree. 
And I actually bought the flock tree from Hobby Lobby and it looks beautiful in the store, but we put up the first little point there on the bottom and it was hugely too big for that space because that is not a big space there. And so we took the flock tree back. Plus I realized that because my house is kind of a gray beige and white trim, that the flock tree just looked a little bit dull and a little bit boring. So I went back to the idea of a green tree and they had a narrow one. This is this year at Hobby Lobby. It's a 44 inch dark green tree. And I'll show you up close the ornaments. And some of these are new this year, but some of them aren't. There it is. We always have a cardinal at the top of the tree. And Alan said, every time I see a cardinal, it makes me think of you because cardinals are God's gift to the world and you are God's gift to me, which is a very beautiful thing to say. And there are some of the ornaments there. These are new this year from Hobby Lobby. And these are also new, these smaller ones from Hobby Lobby. These are new this year, new this year. Also, there's another one. Those were new last year from Kirkland's, I believe. Those kind of odd things sticking out of the tree, those picks were from Kirkland's. Uh, there's another one of that set of the, of the dotted ornaments, but that's kind of how it looks. I've had this little post decoration for years, but I did refresh my garland this year, and this was from the at-home store but I really like it because it's got the red and it's got the pine cones of two different types. That's a pretty one. And then I just used the wired ribbon to kind of bring it all together. And this year we added this part. For some reason, I had never had that part before. It had just stopped up here. And then a friend of mine, Terry, came in the house and said, oh, you probably didn't put the garland down the stairs so your mother-in-law could walk down to the basement. Well, my mother-in-law does not walk down to the basement, but I realized I should probably have a garland there. So I added that. But anyway, that is a look at the living room. Real quick, I'll take you in our bedroom. I don't have much here this year. I kind of petered out a little bit. Just got a little pillow on the bed. There's the bed. And that bed was from Pier 1. Sadly, Pier 1 is out of business now. I think they're online. Then I just put a Noel sign there. And there's my little amour. And I just have a little deer on a box here. Not much Christmas in here, just a little bit. And there's the dining room again and there's the tree again and here is the kitchen and what i did was i used to use these red plates and i stopped using them because i started using gray i'll show you what i use now i use basically plates that match this that look like that they're very bland and they are gray but i had saved those red plates thinking they looked like christmas and so I use them all through November and through December because I think it really does perk up the space. I'm really happy about that. And that joy sign is actually here all year. And these two silver balls are here all year just in the bowl, but I added the Christmas picks. Okay, and here is the little seating area. And again, I have some of those poinsettias that I've had for years, a couple of those, and a couple of deers on boxes. And I think the boxes were from Michael's last year. Michael's is a great place to get Christmas boxes. A couple of different kinds of picks there. And there's an old, old Santa Claus music box. And here is where we congregate mostly at Thanksgiving and Christmas. And my son, Colin, is coming home tomorrow, which I'm so happy about. But normally I have gray reeds in there but I use red for Christmas. Then I've got the evergreen spray in the middle and the stockings. And I do have kind of a funky Christmas pillow there, which is kind of humorous with the, with the deers on there. And I got that at Pier 1 last year. I really do like that, the red throw with the fur. And there's a look again at the fireplace. And I have some nutcrackers over there. And nutcrackers on the floor. There we go. Okay, and here's a look at the kitchen portion of the room. And I've just done a little bit of decor on the center island. I've really kind of toned it down in the last few years. And there's a few Christmas things there. I've got my slippers on, that's why the sound. 
And here is the coffee bar with a couple of little nutcrackers. And then this is the back mudroom area. And I guess I'll turn this light on to show you. But I have Santas up there in all three of those and they're, we've had them for a long time. Some of them are music boxes. And there is a little pillow that I got at the at-home store. And there is looking into the kitchen. Now I'll show you the basement. Okay, now I'll walk back through the living room and we'll go down to the basement. I've done a little bit of decor down here. Not much, just a few little Christmas things. This is where we watch TV mostly. And this is a pan around the room, just to take a look at it. And here in the middle of the table, I usually have these blue balls in there, but I just added the picks and the little Santa pick there. And here is where we watch TV, obviously. And I've just thrown some things there on the MR. And we have stockings and stocking holders there. There was a sleigh there on the right and a Santa train on the left, both from the at-home store. There's a look at the mantel there. I should have had the fireplace turned on. Oh, well. Scan the room. No Christmas there. Then I just have a little snowman here and a little sign. And I think they're both from Kirkland's, I believe. Maybe last year, not this year. And then last year at Kirkland's, I got these two little trailers and I think they're really cute, all dressed up for Christmas. Well, here is one last look at the living room. And I'm so happy that you stopped in to see me. And I hope that you and your family have a wonderful holiday season. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.